Good morning, everybody. God bless you all in Jesus' most glorious name. How are you all doing? <laughs> We're still here, but not for long. Hallelujah. It's 10.16am uh, Australian time, and it is Sunday, the 1st of October, 2023. God is good. Amen. Okay, just a, a quick video here. I want to encourage each and every one of you to physically, if you can physically, <laughs> get out into the streets, into the highways, the byways, the laneways, into the shopping centres, the beaches, the parks, the dog parks, the street corners, even down your street, anywhere. Get out there physically and tell everybody about Jesus. Tell them about Jesus. I know it might be hard for some of you that have never done it before. You might feel awkward or unequipped or um, you might feel embarrassed or you might worry about what people will think of you. My beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ, do not even care what people will think about you. A lot of people think I'm crazy. They think I'm a nut job. I've been called a biblical nut. I've been called uh, derogatory names, but it does not bother me at all, at all. What matters is that I told them about Jesus, whether they choose to receive the message or not. We're commanded to go out into the highways and the byways and invite everyone to the wedding feast. Amen. So, yes, please get out there, especially in these very last days that we're in. The stuff is really going to hit the fan very, very, very soon. And it's going to be a time where <laughs> we're not going to even be able to go out into the streets. So, yeah, no fear mongering, just being very realistic. Um, very dark times ahead. It's right around the corner. So, um, while we're still able to get out into the streets, go out and tell everyone about Jesus. Tell them about him, about his finished work on the cross, who he is. That is, he is the son of the one true living God. He's our salvation. He's our only hope. That we need to believe in him, have faith in him, and we need to repent of all our sins and renounce all wickedness. We need to come out of dead religion and get to know Jesus, that he desires a personal relationship with us. Amen? Just tell them about Jesus. Especially this younger generation. This younger generation, most of them don't even know who Jesus is. They have no idea. And the older generation, uh, a lot of people that were probably raised in the church, the church system, they don't have any idea of the power in the name and the blood of Jesus. They have no idea. They don't even believe that they can be set free. So yeah, we've got to go and minister to all these people, whether they choose to listen or not. we just got to deliver that message. And to those who reject it, they'll be without excuse on Judgment Day. Their blood is not on our hands. Now, I want to quickly share a praise report. God is glorified. Yesterday, um, me and a sister in Christ went out to a beach area um, telling everyone about Jesus and we had some people come against us, you know, the usual, I'm going to call the police, be quiet, shut up and putting their fingers in their ears and laughing. doesn't bother us. I even said to one man, call the police. What are you going to tell them? Here, would you like me to call them for you? And he pretty much walked away. But yeah, the demons rage because they know, they know their time is almost up. Anyway, um, there was these three teenage boys. We later found out they were all 14 years old. And they just come, come from the beach, you know, full of sand, wet air. They would have, you know, enjoyed the sun yesterday because it was a very hot day here in Sydney. And... At first, they were trying to be funny. You know, you get the teenagers, they come up and, you know, they try and be funny and laugh in front of their friends. And one of them came up to me. Now, I've got to be very careful with my words. 
So you're all smart, you'll work this out. One of the boys come up to me and uh, said to me, I got a question. I said, yes. And he goes, if you're, you know, the, you know, that flag they're waving, the, the colorful one, the one that they are uh, ripped off from Noah. Yeah. Those guys. He said, if you're G, do you go to heaven? And I just looked at straight at him and I gently said, no. And I said, but, <laughs> and I witnessed to him and I just gave him a quick testimony how I was confused. I was in that lifestyle because of what happened to me as a child. And, um, but Jesus set me free. Jesus set me free, completely took it away from me. Jesus set me straight. Hallelujah. And, um, I gently witnessed to all three boys and the one that was uh, confused, he actually comes from a Greek background. So there was a Greek boy, uh, a boy from Thailand, and the other one, I think he, he was English, <coughs> Australian. Hey, Lola. And they went from being funny to <coughs> actually listening and <coughs> absorbing the word hallelujah. <coughs> and, um, and our sister <coughs> ministered to them. And right on that spot, they all asked if we can pray for them. And they, one at a time, they, re they repented and they received Jesus. They received Jesus. And um, as they had deliverance prayers, prayed over them, especially the Greek one, the one that was confused, and he, he um, admitted that he was confused and he was having those thoughts and feelings, he started manifesting. And each one of them testified that they felt something coming out of them and they even felt the Holy Spirit coming over them. Hallelujah. And each one of them, like, they actually filmed each other. They go, do you mind if we film? Because we want to share this experience. Praise God. And um, they, each one of them, after we asked, like, how do you feel now? Each one of them said, I feel like a new man. I feel like a new man. Look, I'm getting shivers. Hallelujah. You know, the old man is gone and the new has come. You're a new creation in Christ. And they're all 14 years old. That is amazing. And then um, after we left there, as we come around the corner, there was like an ice cream shop and there was a young girl. She probably would have been about 16 years old. She saw us and she's like giving us the thumbs up and she's doing like the prayer hands, like God bless you. And I walked up and said, hey, beautiful, how are you? Do you know Jesus? And she looked at me, she had this sofa, she goes, can you just pray for me? I said, yes, yes, come. And her friends that worked in the shop were kind of like giggling and laughing and we're saying, don't worry about them. You know, people are going to uh, laugh and mock and scoff because they don't have a relationship with Jesus. But you're, you're asking for prayer because there's something inside of you that is so broken and you know you need a saviour. She had tears and she come out and our sister was praying over her. She got deliverance. She repented and received Jesus. And she was like about 16 years old. So out of everyone there, we had like the, you know, the older people like mocking and scoffing and, you know, we had um, some um, uh, guys in a barber, you know, the ones that follow the uh, the dude from the cube, <laughs> Mecca, you know what I'm talking about, i got to be careful my words. They started raging and they shut the shop door on us and yeah. So it was amazing that we had four teenagers openly receive Jesus and they wanted it. Hallelujah. So I encourage you to go out there and tell everyone about Jesus, especially this young generation. Amen. So um, I love you all in Jesus' most glorious name. And I want to mention uh, you heard about the signal October 4. Like I said, I've got to be very careful. It'll be October 5 here in Australia. A bit of a time difference. But um, yeah, stay hidden in Jesus. Stay hidden in Jesus and um, do your very best to um, stay away from the those ones because they can change at any moment. Might be your lovely grandma. It might even be your own son. Might be your mum, your dad, your sweet neighbour next door. It could be your own pastor. So, um, yeah. They're not going to be them anymore because once they've, um, yeah, the switch gets flipped, what's inside of them is going to change them on a molecular level. And they're not going to be your loved ones anymore. 
they're going to be fully taken over so I'm um, yeah going to my community post and um, I shared a video from our amazing brother Ollie from the south coast god bless you bro um, his channel name is trust Jesus he put up a video showing what they're going to change into all the evidence is there biblical scientific um, everything you just got to watch it but I've got to warn you plead the blood of Jesus over you because there's a scene in there and it's real like it's real footage of um, what we're going to see these people change into it is terrifying it shocked me and terrified me so badly that my body was trembling and shaking um, brother Ollie ha had to like pray for me for like over an hour on the phone had to pray for me I was that's how badly it shook me so yeah pray seek the face of Jesus ask the Holy Spirit to um, tune your ears to his voice and his voice only sorry the video is a bit long but I love you all it's going to be a super hot day today they reckon about 35 degrees which is uh, incredibly hot so yeah we're going to go hit the beach beach areas and uh, tell everyone about Jesus what, like I said, whether they receive it or not, it's between them and God, but we got to do our job, we got to do our part as a body of Christ, and we got to go tell them. So don't feel ashamed, don't feel embarrassed. Who cares what they think? We only care what our Heavenly Father thinks, amen? So I love you all, I thank you all for your prayers and for your love, and um, I can't wait to hug you all in heaven, amen? Okay, bye-bye, God bless you.